We are a video factory today. I mean, I'm doing Sturgis stuff and parts stuff, stuff I need to do forever and stuff, and I apologize for throwing so much of you at once, but throw much of you, so much at you, whatever. But anyway, so today I am answering a question I've gotten a million times, and that is, what seats should I buy? What seats do you like? That sort of stuff. So let's talk about places to put your butt on your bike. Huge caveat. Big word, huh? Um, what seats should I buy? I, I can't answer that for you, to be honest, because seat is very much a preference thing. It really is. It's like, there are dudes though I know who love certain seats where I'm like, you're out of your damn mind, I hate those things. But that's again, my preference. Some people like a really soft seat. Some people like really, really firm seats. And I can kind of get both of them in different applications. But I want to talk about my three favorite seats today, the ones that I, after having, <laughs> I mean, you can't see it because I'm, I'm, I'm too embarrassed. There's too much crap in that corner. But I literally, because I don't get rid of anything, I don't get rid of seats because I always figure a friend will need them. I'm looking right now at three rear pillions, uh, a couple backrest pads, three more seats, and I know there's two more down there. And those are not even the ones that we're going to talk about today that I have decided are my absolute three favorite. Um, actually, I should say I do have a fourth, but that one's sort of rare. Uh, my one of my favorite seats I've had of all time is actually the stock seat that came on my wife's CBO. Uh, it's a two-piece seat. I'll grab it. I'll be right back. This. This is the stock front seat of a 2019 CBO Road Glide. I'm sure it was the same with the Street Glide and all stuff, but as you can see, it's got a lot of wear, and even the stitching on the edges is even starting to fray a bit, because I've got probably 30, 35, 40,000 on this seat, right? So it's, it's, the pad is broken down wonderfully and the leather is starting to scrape in places for me dragging my leg over and stuff, but this is uh, one of my favorite seats of all time. Uh, I have discovered better ones since then, but that's the one that I roll with the most and it's the one that came on this bike. Um, so that's been a really good seat. But that, quick warning, if you're thinking I've always wanted one of those, where do I get one? Order it from a Harley dealer or find it on eBay. Don't buy a knockoff of those seats. There's a whole lot of knockoffs of that stock seat uh, and the foam is just crap. So. The most important um, parts of the seat are the materials they use under the cover, right? So it's not the shape necessarily, because if I if I made that seat, if I remanufactured or or, or sort of recreated that seat, but I used crap foam that, that wasn't very good, it's gonna create hot spots and, and pain points and stuff. And even though you're gonna go, oh, I thought the seat was great. It's not the shape, it's also the material they use. So if you do wanna try one of those, and you've heard the same thing I just said, that's one of the best seats I ever had, get the Harley one. Find one on eBay used or something like that. That seat was pretty common for a couple years on both road glides and street glides, I think. So anyway, so if you wanna go that route, buy the real one, don't buy a fake one. Now, my top three favorite seats that I run today, depending on application, are one is a stock Harley seat you can buy on eBay cheap. The other one is Advance Raptor, that's my medium duty seat. And my light duty seat is mine. It's got my name on it. <laughs> So anyway, so we'll talk about these. First one, the Big Ugly. Yes, it's raining here. I don't care. I'm standing here and get wet. Um, the Big Ugly. This is a stock seat. This particular one, if I remember correctly, is it's either off my 2021 Ultra Limited or off my 2018 Road Glide Ultra. Uh, it's the same seat, either one, so I'm not sure. But this is my Big Ugly. I'm going to do a 600-mile day seat. It's the stock seat off of a Harley-Davidson touring bike. Um, this one I, again, got with a bike, but you can buy these on eBay because everyone thinks they can do better, so they change it to a different one. And I mean, can you? Maybe. Again, this is a stocker seat, but I know that a lot of people change these out for the Mustang version, like the Super Tour or Super Duo Deluxe and all that stuff. I mean, is the Mustang better? Maybe. It's not going to be my much, if at all, because I absolutely love this seat. It is very high up. And it is a little bit far forward for my taste, and they do make uh, tall boy versions. But the cushion, I think, is perfect. The shape is perfect. You see that deep pocket? No issues with tailbone. Like, this sucker is not going to hurt your tailbone with a really long day in the saddle. So this is my favorite long-distance seat, and it's a stock seat. Stock seats normally suck. This one does not. So buy one on eBay or buy the Mustang if you want to spend a lot more money. But you should be able to pick one of these up for 100 150 bucks on eBay because it's been the same seat now for... I, going back to at least 14, 15, that's probably 10 years they've made that exact seat, maybe even longer. So great seat. Again, you're going to be up and you're going to be forward. 
but you're not going to be in pain after hours. So that's a great seat. Also a great uh, passenger seat. I ride one up, but if you do have a back seat, this, the rear, look at the size of the rear of that thing. It's a couch, and it's just tremendous amounts of foam. So that's, that's a great seat for two up riding as well. Uh, anyway, so that's my favorite distance seat. My medium duty seat, this is actually Mrs. Monkey seat because it's the one that she runs most of the time, is based on sort of stock Harley shape on a road glider street glide. Side note, you can always tell an RV owner because their pickup truck is full of crap all the time. Rugs and hoses and, you know, fuel, I have a generator, so fuel tanks and levelers and all kinds of junk back in there. Just collapsible trash cans and you can tell an RV owner. Anyway, this seat is called the Raptor. They make a couple versions of it. Again, the shape is the same as a stock Harley Road Glider Street Glide seat, but they recover it with this really cool sort of ostrich and double diamond stitch. Uh, this version is the Raptor, and that, sorry, let me back up. The Raptor is the one that has the ostrich and the double diamond. So that's the Raptor cover on the seat. Uh, but you can get the stitch in a bunch of different colors, green, orange, blue, white, or obviously red. Uh, and, and I do hate the stock street glide and road glide seat, but this has been completely fixed from that. The pan is the same, but this is really good high density foam and there are gel pads here and here. So this is a huge upgrade. So if you've got a stock street, street glide or road glide and you go like, oh my God, it's the worst seat ever. It is until they fixed it. So, I mean, I'm not saying these are Harley seat pans. They're not. This is their own you know, proprietary seat. But they started with that shape and fixed it because this is really good material. She's got probably 15 or 20 on this one, so it's nicely broken in. Really, really likes this seat. But, again, you can get it in green and blue or yellow or red or white or whatever. Um, this is a Raptor. They have another version of it called the Cobra, which is the same seat with a different cover on it. And the stitch is, like, octagonal and the piping, there's more piping on it and stuff. It's just a style preference. I like the Raptor. So I've got one of these too. Uh, the Grinch currently at this very second has this seat with black stitch on. That's another thing, you can get black stitch. Uh, so that's what I ride a lot as well. This one, I don't know if you want to call it an unveiling, is brand new. Uh, this is my seat. So eventually, essentially what happened is uh, Advan wanted to start doing sort of a performance style seat with lots of back support and all that sort of stuff. Um, seats like these have been around forever, where it's a, you know, a deep bucket and a high back. I mean, everyone and their mother has made one of these for a very long time, but Adman wanted to use their foam and their stuff and, and make their own seat, so they did. They sent me the uh, prototype forever ago, and I wrote on it for a bit, and said, I said the seat would be perfect if you did two things. Slam it all the way down and push it all the way back, as far back as you can. And so we actually ended up settling on taking the stock version of the seat, which is, you know, a pretty standard shape, and dropped it down about an inch and a half. So that's the whole seat right there, okay? And pushed it back about an inch and a half here. So this seat is super low and super far back, and I freaking love it. Uh, I am not even six foot. I'm like 5'11 and a half, so it's not a height thing. It's just where I like to ride. I am all trunk and arms, okay? So I'm short of leg because God doesn't love me. But... I like to ride my bike slammed all the way down and all the way back. It's just where I'm comfortable. And this thing is freaking fantastic. I love that seat. And when we de designed the idea of it, I, I, I was thinking to myself, it's going to be a bar hopper seat. It's going to be super, you know, short distance, et cetera, et cetera. Not necessarily true because we all know a fresh seat is kind of hard. It's not broken in, all that sort of stuff. I took the seat out of the box. I put it on the ST. And then we did a 120 mile circle, I guess it was, which I know that's not a lot of miles, right? I, I get it. But I have seats where you can't do 50 miles on them. You know what I mean? Well made, but still they are bar hopper seats. My point is you can do a couple hundred miles in a day. Actually, what am I saying? It was 200 and something miles because we went all the way out around and down to Weston and back. So it was like 200 miles, 100 each way. So yeah, so anyway, so this seat, did way better than I thought. I was just feeling tired when I got home, and that is the seat. So, I'm not sure how this is gonna play out as far as colors of stitch and go stuff goes. So it's Advan Black Seat, it's gonna be the Pro Monkey version. It will say this on yours, if you order one, when they come out. I'm not sure if they're gonna provide the different stitch options. This is my back seat, by the way the sort of tucked um, 70s style chopper look. I wanted that. So the Pro Monkey seat is gonna have this sort of stitch back here, double diamond on the front, uh, and then it will have my logo and Advan's logo there. 
I'm not sure if they're going to make it available in different stitch colors. Maybe, probably. I don't see why not. But this is my new seat. You're going to see this on my bike at Sturgis 99% of the time. The days we go to the Badlands and stuff, I might maybe run my Raptor that day. But anyway, there you go. So this is a new Pro Monkey seat I'm really excited about. These three are really the only seats I need to own anymore, to be honest. Like, this is all I'm going to run is between these three. Some of you out there are going like, what a jerk. Why do I need three seats? I do. I think you do. You know, that's just my opinion. And you can wipe your rear end if you want to. But I do think you need a long distance, heavy duty, gonna put on a thousand miles today seat. You need your sort of medium duty seat. And I think you need your bar hopper. Or maybe you can eliminate the bar hopper. You need at least two seats, I think. Because historically speaking, distance riding, long distance riding, you can either look cool or be comfortable. There is no both. Now, my buddy De Beard, Bert from Baggers and Brews, which love you to death and I hope you're doing better if you, I don't know if you saw this, but Bert from Baggers and Brews went down this last weekend. He's okay. Don't know if his bike is. I'm guessing not because I saw the pictures. Go follow him on Instagram and stuff if you want to see that, but Bert got hurt. <laughs> Bert got hurt! <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. No, nothing major. He's going to be okay, but he did go down. My, my note to him said, you know, I'm glad you're okay and got through this because you got that out of the way. We all have to have our accident. You've had yours now, so you'll be okay. Anyway, so Bert does ride on the Raptor seat all the time. He does like New Jersey to Florida on that and says it's fine. So maybe for you it would be. I just do think that if you're going to do super long distances, you need a big ugly. A giant couch you put on your bike that looks like hell, but <laughs> it'll get you there and stuff. So those are my thoughts on seats. Comment down below what you think. If you disagree, I want to hear because, again, seats are a very uh, personal thing. So some things that I love, you might hate and vice versa. So anyway, there you go. Love you all to death. Take care of each other out there. We'll talk real soon. Bye.